Hello everybody and welcome back to another horror-ish game for the month of October. Um, most of these games I try to keep them spoiler free for myself so I get the most genuine enjoyment out of them. So I literally just typed in horror into Steam and this came up as a new title that a lot of people apparently liked called If on a Winter's Night for Travelers, which D does not roll off the tongue very well, but who cares about that? If it's good, it's good, and the art is rather unique, and I love a unique art style, so I am all for getting into this game and figuring out what the Winter's Night has in store for us. So with that being said, let's go. Let's experience what this train has for us to experience somewhere in Central Asia in February of 1929. Like, pixel art like this is gorgeous. I wish I could do pixel art like this. It seems so conceptually easy, but then you actually get to it and just like, it's a talent. It, it's a skill. Also, is that a horse man talking to a skeleton? Is everything alright, young man? You seem agitated. Are you not enjoying yourself? Oh yes, yes, certainly. It is. It's a lovely party indeed. It is, isn't it? Such delightful costumes. And the music? Mwah, exquisite. So says the Skull Manor. Oh, but where are my menus? My name is Layla. I'm Carlo. Pleased to meet you. Um, Sweetie, what is wrong? I can tell there's definitely something on your mind. Are you looking for somebody? I'm just saying, I'm not in control here. Oh no, it's just that, um, I know it must sound peculiar, but... I can't seem to be able to recall how I got here. I just was on a train. <laughs> what do you mean? Surely you must remember something. Well, I was at this hotel in Rome. That I remember. Now I'm in Central Asia. Far away. Rome, what a beautiful city. Were you on a vacation? In a way, I was there to meet with my uh, paramour. Ooh. I was waiting for him to arrive. The Silent Room. Interesting. So that was a dog person and a skull person, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Ah, oh, beautiful Rome, so glad to see you again. Still as majestic, as decadent, and of course, as loud as ever. Oh well, I'll sleep when I'm back in Turin, I guess. I don't know where Turin is. What time did Patrick say he would arrive? I'm sure I left his telegram around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. My shooting star, thrilled to see you. Please check in at the Grand Roma. Everything is taken care of. We'll be there around noon. Love, P. Oh, uh, okay. He's thrilled to see me. Thrilled. Oh my, this is going to be rough. I have my little pointer clicker here. Do I click on things yet? I'm not quite sure how to play this game. The arrow keys do not work. Oh, he's thrilled to see me. Thrilled. Be still, my beating heart. Oh, I, oh, everything needs to be perfect. Oh, okay, sure. Okay, it is point and click. Okay. So, good news. Uh, we're in love, and that's great. Bad news. It sounds like we're a gay couple in the 1920s. <laughs> and I don't think I... I need to tell you <laughs> how that that's not a, the greatest time to be out and about in, uh... Well, it'd be openly gay. <laughs> so, room service, uh, one of the greatest inventions of humankind. Sure. Sure, we'll call it that. The bed. I'm so tired for my trip, I just want to take a nap, but Patrick should be here soon. Maybe we can call room service and have breakfast in bed. Did they, like, come to Paris thinking Paris would be, like, cool for them? I don't know. I don't know anything about Paris in the 1920s. We're, we're not in Paris, we're in Rome. 
I don't know why I thought it was in Paris. Maybe it's just the romantic undertones that they were, you know, in Paris. You certainly can't buy good taste with money. Let's go to the chest of drawers. Socks, underwear, a couple shirts, everything we need. And that Rolex Patrick gave me at the first party we met. I'm sure he would like me to wear it. Yay! There. So fancy! <laughs> so fancy. Is there more? Nothing interesting among my socks. Great. Okay, so we unlock- okay, we move to the next room by crossing over. Understood. So, thrilled to see me. Thrilled. Great. Uh, let's do the radio. There's even a radio in the room. A radio! This place really has everything. Huh, I wonder how this works. I think I better leave it for Patrick. Alright, Patrick. Uh, oh. Oh! Things glow when you click them. I wonder how this works. Oh! Oh no, what have I done? Oh dear, what a relief. Oh! I have options! Interesting. So if they're on the bottom left, I get to pick what he says. Okay, interesting, interesting. Roman bust. This reminds me of that party. Actually, I don't remember that much about it. Just that there were togas involved. Patrick loves that whole Roman emperor aesthetic. He'll never admit it, but I'm sure it's part of the reason he lives here. Americani. Sigh. Roman bust. So, I guess you're not American if you're saying that? Great. Room service is delivered, but I should move them somewhere where they stand out a bit more. Like the table or the bed? So, let's, let's, let's place it on the table. That, I mean, that makes the most sense. I think that's the mechanic I'm trying to learn here. Much better. And here's the car, just as I requested, to my one and only. He's going to love it. He will. I'm sure he will. Okay. Uh, main door. Better not leave the room. Patrick should be here any minute now. Yes, well, I'm waiting for Patrick. Whiskey, gin, vermouth, amaretto, campery, of course, yum. Is that a lemoncello? I should take a quick look in the bathroom mirror, and I'll be all set for when he arrives. Alright, so let's go find a bathroom. Is this this tiny room? Yes, okay. Tiny little doorway here. Dark and spooky. I shall use the toilet. Been there, done that. I see you, you, you have fully prepared. There's the mirror. Towels. I'm sure these towels cost more than what I make in a month. Oh! Well, why are you here then? <laughs> Don't go to places where the towels that you can easily dirty and ruin are more than what you make in a month. That's just bad decision making. Alright, let's look in the mirror. You lucky handsome devil you. You really hit the jackpot this time. What if he is the one? The real one? Can you imagine having to tell mom and everything? Okay, you know what? We'll cross that bridge when and if we ever get to it. For now. Yeah, look just dashing young man. Aw, happy for you man. Ooh, the phone! Is that the phone? The phone is ringing. Wait, no, it's the door buzzer. Patrick. Oh, I guess it's... it's okay, sure. To the door! To meet my lover. We shall party. Hello, Patrick. Oh, does Patrick have a sick mustache? Carlo! Patrick, so happy to see you! Look at you, it's been too long. I've missed you. Me too. I'm so happy you made it all the way here. So how do you like this place? Very cool. You mean the room or the city? Both are quite excessive. I, I mean exquisite. Exquisite. The room, pretty fancy, isn't it? Very much so, especially the painting <laughs> over the bed. Oh, that painting. Great. He said it was bad taste. I don't want to lie. So let's say the bathtub's pretty cool. Very much so. Especially that bathtub over there in the bathroom. I can assure you, you've never seen anything like it. Except you probably have, because you're the person who 
paid for it. I'll take your word for it. Have you seen there's a radio and everything? Did you try to find some music? Yes, and it sucked. <laughs> the music is awful here. <laughs> oh, it didn't cross my mind. Lies, but feel free to if you want. Oh, don't mind if I do. Hmm, there. Isn't that nice? So, how about a drink? We should really make the most of this amazingly equipped bar I see over there. Uh, that's just how those 1920s songs sound, I guess, on the radio. If only in solidarity with my fellow Americans suffering under the grip of the Volstead Act. I don't know what the Volstead Act is. I'm sorry. Serious? It's not even noon yet. Oh, sure, coming right up. I mean, uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. That's my bambino. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Let us drink excessively. Utterly and utterly excessively. One for Patrick, one for me, and one for the me inside of me. Cheers. Salute. Ha ha. Oh, he's just, oh, he's just downing it. Cough. Oh. Oh, by the way, the flowers are for you. Oh, shall we move to the bedroom? No, you know what? He is a romantic. He brought us to Rome. We need to We need to show the effort we put into this man. So these flowers are for you. Oh, they are absolutely lovely. And look, they come with a card. You should read the com card. <laughs> read the card. To my one and only... Charlie. Carlo. I need to tell you something. I have five other misters. Want to sit down? Hmm, five here, thanks. Look, Carlo. We can't keep doing this. I'm sorry. Why don't you like me anymore? Are you serious? You're dumping me? I'm gonna go with the whining. Why don't you like me anymore? Come on, Carlo, you know it's not that. I like you, but that doesn't mean that I... Look, you know just as well as I do that it wasn't meant to last. Don't play dumb now, please. I'm, I'm not playing dumb. I was truly starting to believe we were made for each other. Aww, poor Carlo. And where exactly did you get that idea? <laughs> Well, in your telegram, for example, it said, uh, we are going to be together forever. I'm going to marry you. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you the one playing dumb now? Here, let me get it from the other room and I'll show you. You're exhausting, Carlo. But I'll sit over here and wait. Await this evidence that you say you have. Look at that style! That's- that's the sit- that's how you sit when you like own the room. You're just like, mm, yes. Oh, poor Carlo. Poor Carlo, his heart is broken. Look at him! The sorrow on his face. There it is, thrilled to see me, he said. Undisputable proof that he loves me- My shooting star. I see. How can I be so naive? Thrilled to dump me. That's what he was. Patrick, I finally realized. Your shooting star, of course. Fleeting, a passing glimpse, and then gone. Is that how you justify it to yourself? I'm just some crazy adventure. Or did the deuce put the fear of God in you? I don't know who that is. That's not that. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with me. It's just wrong. I'm sorry, Carlo. Oh, you surely can't be serious now. Wrong? How can this be wrong? But it feels so right. <laughs> surely you can't be serious now. The drama. The intrigue. Just say that you're afraid of being deported and cut the crap. 
Look, I didn't expect you to understand. But I have read these articles, these medical journals. Carlo, there are doctors. They can help. They have this new therapy. Oh no, as soon as I found out about it, I told my wife everything. Oh no. Oh no. About you, me, about this whole thing. She knows it was a malaise, something beyond my control. Oh no, and she supports me unconditionally. Oh no. We'll go through this together, discreetly. I know marriage will be stronger for it in the end. No. Oh. Oh, Patrick. Carlo, you should think about it too. No. No, Patrick. Patrick, no. Apparently there's this hospital near Turin and Col Collegno. I don't know what I'm saying. Carlo, they can cure you. It's not curable. It's... Aw. Patrick. Patrick. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you feel that way. That's not the answer. And Carlo, I won't let it be the answer for you. You're speechless. You're such a coward. I mean, no, he's a victim, but... But you're such a coward. I don't know what I ever saw in you. Stupid me thinking you cared. But no, I am just... A symptom of some illness to you. A boil, a cyst that you can just cut away. Oh, please, Carlo, cut the drama. I have a wife. I have children. That is what a man does. Period. A man. A snake is what you are. Spare me the excuses to just get out of here. I don't- you know what? I don't think we need to accuse each other. I think- I think we just need to leave. Spare me the excuses to just get out of here. So let's leave before we say things we regret. Are you serious? Completely. Why keep wasting your precious time? It's got a point. I'm sure your place is to be and important people to see. I'll call room service and ask them to get you a taxi cab. It is the greatest thing mankind's invented. Suit yourself. Makes my life easier, that's for sure. Okay. Oh. Time for me to move. I thought they were just gonna stare each other down for a second. Just aggressively stare at each other. Alright. Poor Carlo. Walk of shame. Room service. I'd like to arrange a pickup. Yes, a regular taxi cab will do. Owen. Patrick Owen. Room 1046. Thank you. Achievement unlocked. Good riddance. You can't see my achievements, but I've, I've gotten- I'm getting rid of Patrick. Goodbye! My- my- I guess my former lover now. May we never meet again! You are such trash. How can you live with yourself? No, just- let's just stay polite. No need to throw words, you know? It's a difficult point in history. You're very angry, and I understand. We're just gonna, we're just gonna let bygones be bygones. You'll find your true love. He's out there. I promise you, Carlo. They'll be here in a few minutes. Good riddance. Go back to that wife you don't love and those children you hate. Oh, that's unnecessary. She didn't deserve that. How can you stoop so low? You are worse than sick, Carlo. You are deranged. Hmm. I'm so sorry for you. Oh, Patrick. I think I'd rather wait downstairs in the lobby. Move away. I'm done with you. Then what are you waiting for? Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Ah! God. Oh, God! Carlo! Carlo, what did you do? Carlo! Carlo! What the freak, Carlo? We were going the calm and logical route. We were 
we were being calm and just letting the situation de-escalate. He was leaving. You didn't mean to deck him into the bar and kill him. Oh God, Carlo. <laughs> oh no, Carlo. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh God, Patrick. Oh God. He had a wife and kids. And maybe he didn't really love them, which is a tragedy. But like, 1929 is not the year in which for to, I, I mean, it's always wrong, but like, you, there's a lot. We could get into a huge ethical debate about that, but... Oh, ho, ho, ho. My... What? My something is something. Why am I standing here? I was on my way to the bathroom. I need to wash my face. I need to calm down. Is that what you really need to do? Oh, the painting change. Oh, cool. That's cool, but also unsettling. Oh, I don't. Oh, oh, this change. I was having so much fun with the romantic drama between Patrick and Carlo. Oh, I don't want to look in the mirror. Oh. 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 So much blood, so much blood. Uh, no, we we need to get out. We're, we're, we're doomed. And I think we, in the best interest of Carlo, we need to bounce. <laughs> we need to get out of here immediately, but go where? Everybody is going to know. What am I even saying? He told his wife. They already know. There's no way out. As soon as they find him, they'll know where to find me too. Frick you, Patrick. You got your way in the end, didn't you? This is all your fault. You hear me? Your fault. I thought I punched you aggressively when you were leaving calmly. Oh no. Envelope whispers. Okay. Okay. This, it's an invitation to some kind of masked ball. RSVP not required. It's supposed to be a mask. This is how he gets there. Horse mask. It's leathers. Oh. Oh. What? What? Oh. And next thing you know, I'm here in this train with a drink in my hand. And now, a silent room. This all feels unreal, like a strange dream. Like I shouldn't really be here. Oh dear, what a terrible experience I must have been. I'm not surprised that you're feeling disoriented. Excuse me, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Not at all. What is it, darling? Do you mind if I take a seat? Of course not. Please go ahead. Thank you so much. Oh yes, adjust your... Just your skirts. I have been looking all over for my husband, but I cannot find him. I am quite certain that we were supposed to meet here, yet nobody I speak to seems to have seen him. And what does your husband look like, Mrs. Catface? Winterborn. Valerie Winterborn. My husband my husband is Henry Winterborn. Surely you must know him from the papers. Not that it would matter here. But I am confident that if he were around, I would have recognized him already, even if he was wearing some sort of bizarre animal mask. Do you remember when you last saw him? Of course it was. Okay, this is embarrassing, but I'm, I'm not quite so sure right now. All right, dearie, what do you remember then? It was raining. The slow vanishing of Lady Winterborn. They're asleep. We're going to stay asleep. No, no. She's getting up. She's waking up. Or she's going back to sleep. I don't know what she's doing. Maybe she's still sleeping. But either way, we're going to let her rest. And we'll come back to this tomorrow. <laughs>
We'll figure out what's up with Lady Winterborn. And, uh... Gosh. I hope it's just as drama-filled as the last little adventure. I don't even know... I wonder how that could have played out. Because uh, it's interesting that there's a couple of choices in branching paths. So that, that makes me want to just immediately replay it again. Um, I got that one achievement uh, that you guys didn't see about, you know, requesting he leave. So I don't know if that changes anything. I, I don't know. So, uh, <laughs> I just, I, you didn't see it, but I got an achievement just a bit longer for letting her sleep for so long. <laughs> so yeah, next time we will hit a uh, Winterborn story. But uh, until then, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye! Hi there, it's the end of the video, my friend. Hit the bell if it was okay, I'm sure I'll make good content someday. I'll play some games or do some drawing Pokemon and fights with darling video essays and reviews. I couldn't do it without you, so thanks. Like and subscribe.